SonicWall adds support for self-hosted Active Directory into CSE. This means remote workforce, legacy apps, cloud-first platforms all in one interface. You get strong security with its device compliance checks and access policies from central console, no matter where your directory lives. Whether you're running your AD in the cloud or keeping things strictly on-prem, CSE doesn't lock you in. Even hybrid networks, CSE can pull authentication from your local AD, a cloud-based directory, or both. So you're not tied into deployment style. Instead of redesigning your whole environment, you let CSE secure and unify it. Now for this setup, we'll be using a locally hosted AD on Windows Server 2025. Now that we're in our CSE dashboard, we need to create the connector. So we're gonna go to networks, create connector, we're gonna name this WinServer25. Do note, with this naming scheme, you're not allowed to use spaces, so underscores work great. We're gonna create an API. Let's say name this WinServer25. And we're gonna use a custom network. So we'll get rid of these. So this is... Make sure you put the slash uh, in the subnet and then click continue. So from here, we need to download the installer package. So the best way to do this is just copy the link address. So over here, I've got my RDP session to Windows Server. You just paste that here and it'll start downloading. So once you get to this stage of the install of the connector, you're gonna need your cloud command center, your API key and your connector name. So we'll just copy all three of those over. And here we can see the connection was successful. Now do note after creating the connector, it can take up to 20 minutes for it to show that it's reporting server side. So now let's go connect the LDAP server. Let's go to settings and user. And we're gonna set this to on-premises. So we choose our connector that we created. The LDAP server is gonna be the actual IP of the server itself. In this case, we are using port 389 now do know if you enter 636 it will automatically turn on TLS so here we need our LDAP bind user to find that we can pull up the server and right clicking on your bind user and going under attribute editor you can find the distinguished name this is what we need for this LDAP bind password. User base distinguished name is just your base domain. So in this case, csc.local. Group base distinguished name is going to be adding on the OU groups. And then the rest is default. Now that that configuration is saved, we need to wait 10 minutes for the certificate to provision. Now that the provisioning is done, we can test the configuration. So let's use one of our users. And success. Now as users log in, they will populate here in the directory section. And that's it. Now you have even more control as to what users and groups have access to what hosts. No complicated hardware, no jumping through hoops, just simple guided configuration and real flexibility for any environment. If you're moving fast or consolidating your setup, this solution just makes life easier. Thank you guys for watching. Check out our configuration services to get your new firewall with the best security practices and our managed services for subscription-based monitoring from our team.